What's up, everybody, and welcome back to our next week of our awesome, honest live stream with the Syrup Project. It's good to be back. It's good to see all of you again. I hope you enjoyed your week. My name is Josh, and I've got my awesome co-host next to me, Shimmy G. What's up, everybody? How's your week? How's your week, Josh? My week was really good. Thanks for asking. I got to watch my proud Juventus lift the Serie A title which was incredible to see. They've been so bad this year. I didn't think it was going to happen, but they did it nine times in a row. Cool. <laughs> well, this past week, I've been stopping at Camp Kogabe, so that was really cool. Spending Ooh. time with the kids, so that was, mm. that was great. Being totally honest, those kids, they really helped me grow. You know, mm. it was awesome to, to be able to work with them. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's, it's great to see how our next generation is going to turn out. Whoosh. I want a church girl that go to church and read your Bible. Slow down. Grab your Bible. Pray like you're trying to make your soul revival. Praise the Lord. <laughs> sure, you may be verified on Twitter, but are you verified in the eyes of God? So we've got an incredible compilation set for you guys this week. Uh, we had videos that transpired from the last week of all of these awesome interviews and talent videos, and I hope you guys really enjoyed them. Continue to leave us some feedback for how they look. But now we have a compilation video with our awesome viewers, you guys, the Syrup Squad. So I hope you really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. What's up, everybody? How's it going? So this week's theme was honesty. Let me tell you, I did not know what to do for my theme because I was like, how am I supposed to film honesty? So I sort of like thought about it and I was thinking about it for a few days. And what I came to realize is like, maybe I have to be more honest with like, how I deal with people and my feelings with other people. Um, I don't know, recently it's been pretty stressful with work and a lot of things going on right now in my life, so I'm trying to just be more honest with the interactions and with people that I meet and talk to at work, but then also, you know, in my house and you know, things like that with like friends and people I'm close with. And honestly, it's been, it's been pretty interesting because, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty, I can be a pretty goofy guy and uh, obviously, you know, sometimes it's it's easier to just uh, not be like, it's not like you're lying to people, but like not being like your true self to people. And uh, I tried changing it up and just, you know, telling people how it was and being straight with them. And it was an interesting week. I didn't film anything again because uh, I didn't really know how to do that. So um, yeah, I'll be cool. It'll be exciting to see all the other people's uh, submissions and I hope everyone submitted something cool. So uh, yeah, stay fresh gang. See you later. Hi Sir Project, Shim here. So for the theme of honesty, I am doing my monthly reflection. So today I will reflect because <laughs> what better way to express honesty by looking into yourself and figuring out where you're at, how you're feeling, um, to appreciate your achievements and what you've done for the past month and how much you've changed and all that. Um, what I like to do is pretend I'm writing my own um, obituary. What? It sounds pretty morbid, but um, it really puts things into perspective. It makes you think about how people will remember you and um, your relationships with others and, and how much you've done. So. Um, yeah, that's what I did. That's what I'm doing. Hey, Zero Project. Leo here. So this week we were asked to talk about the theme of honesty. And I think honesty is a very good topic to be able to reflect and look at yourself. Um, honesty is something that I've personally struggled with quite a lot ever since I was young. Um, I like to keep a lot of things to myself. 
as I don't want to burden others with all my problems and stuff like that. Um, but more recently, I've been reflecting a lot and doing a lot of uh, inner searching, I guess you could say, um, to really find the problems in my life and how I can improve upon them and what kind of steps I need to become the person that I want to be. And I think being completely honest with yourself um, is definitely a place to start. And as you feel like you're honest with yourself, you can be honest with others and express that to others. And this week, I actually got an amazing opportunity to help be a team leader at Camp Kogape. So shout out you guys, and especially Team 9. Um, because on the second day of camp, we got to really delve deeper into ourselves um, as one of our team leaders would share um, things that they were struggling with or they felt guilty about and kind of what they would do to um, feel better or what they would do to try and improve their situation and what their life might be without those things. And so it was really nice to be able to share and my team was so amazing and they just got to listen to me openly share and I think that was also really good for me to be able to share that with them. So. Yeah, thank you guys. Hey Ange, what's your honest opinion of me? You are goofy. You are loud and super confident and my best friend. <laughs> hey Johnny, give me your honest opinion of me. Stupid. Nice. Give me your honest opinion of me. You stink. <laughs> okay. Hey, Papa. Hey, Papa. What's your honest opinion of me? You're such a good guy. I'm a good guy? Yeah. Sounds like a lie to me. Why do you give me wrong time? Hey, Mama. What's your honest opinion of me? Honest? Honest. Carrie? Oh. Love me. Oh. Hey Stella, what's your honest opinion of me? She's drinking my ice cream. Good puppy. Honest moments with child. So how do you find something that's more honest than something that's honest? Probably make a list. Number one, I like your food. Number two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the next statement is true. The previous statement is false. <laughs> Paradox. <laughs> Whoa, dude! You got totally mind blown. <laughs> Paradox. Seer Project, it's Monica here, and for this week of honesty, I've been reflecting on different crucial moments in my life where I was honest with myself and it really paid off in the long run. Uh, one specific memory I have is actually me going to Champyang and really praying sincerely to connect closer to God, and also I wanted to connect to my ancestors. And eventually, through my 40 day period there, I ended up receiving insights of I should support uh, my ancestors with the ancestor liberation. And at this time, I had saved up a good amount of money actually for school and I didn't really want to <laughs> lose the support of that money. Uh, but many times within the prayer hall at Champion, I would just feel this strong inspiration and inclination to support my ancestors and become closer to God and to parents through this offering. And I remember one specific moment when I was just praying there and I just told God like, okay, I'll just do this for you and of course for my ancestors. And uh, I finished that prayer and just was like, okay, I decided to do this. And upon leaving um, the prayer hall, it was pouring rain. And I only had a raincoat with me and I was literally whole hovering this raincoat above my head and it wasn't doing its enough. <laughs> and then uh, while I was walking down the steps, I heard footsteps and then I looked down and I see this woman literally following me and then I didn't feel any more raindrops and I noticed she was holding an umbrella for me while I was walking down the steps and then she ended up giving me this umbrella 
And for me, this was really meaningful and it symbolized more than just a gift. It symbolized God's support in protecting me and being there for me by me showing up, being responsible and being honest with what's right for myself and what's right for God in my life. So that was really meaningful, very, very powerful, um, empowering moment for myself in my life. And yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you and hope you guys are enjoying the rest of your week. Hey, Sarah Project. So here I am in my bedroom this time. And this week's theme was honesty. Honesty is something that I've always valued a lot in my life. Through a lot of workshops, I've grown to always want to be more honest with people, always try to not, not be afraid of saying the truth. Sometimes it's easy to hold back the truth or easy to want to keep something just to yourself, but it's much more liberating to be honest with others. Main way that I try to be honest is with my parents. It's hard sometimes to come clean or to admit that you've done wrong, especially to your parents because they're your parents. I think in building a good relationship with your family and with your parents, it's always good to be very honest with them. They've sacrificed a lot for you and they do want to build a relationship with you. We also don't want our parents to be doing 100% of the work here. We want to meet them halfway and be able to be honest with them if we want them to be honest with us as well. Build some trust based on love. This week was also a good week to reflect. Reflect honesty and reflect honestly about how I'm doing and what I can improve on. It's, it's important to look back and see the full picture without you know, holding back, without thinking you're right all the time. And it, it takes a while. It won't come in a day. It might take weeks or months to really see the truth and accept it. Accept that it is a problem or it is a truth that you need to, something you need to deal with. And I think this week was a good week for me to reflect more deeply and more honestly with myself. And being honest with yourself is the first step that you can take in beating anything. If you're honest with yourself first, then you can be honest with others and start to heal, start to fix the issue and work your way to a point where you can grow and be better. So this was a great week to be honest and I encourage all of you to be honest with people around you. Say what you need to say and listen to what they need to say. But thank you. Wow, thank you guys so much for sending in those honesty videos. It was really awesome to see you all grow and share all about what happened in your week. So thank you so much for that. And now we're gonna be moving on into our next topic and our theme for the next week. So Shim, what have we got? So the next theme for the next week is um, identity. identity. Yes, identity. Ooh. This week, we encourage you. I guess it's kind of similar. It's great that, that it comes right after honesty because you're reflecting on your identity, on who you are as a person, your culture. Maybe it could be about your identity as a blessed child or your identity as a Filipino or Italian. A oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'll point to you. I don't know which way you're No, on. you're good. You're good. Okay. But yeah, so your identity. So whatever is unique to you, whatever makes you feel as, a, as you know, the human that you rightfully are. Mm -hmm. Your authentic self. Oh, authentic. That's a good word. Yes. An authentic week. So yes. thank you all so much for joining us this week. We're so excited to see what you have to submit. We hope you enjoyed all of the videos. Be sure to leave your feedback to let us know exactly what's going to be happening in your week and what can we do to improve. Mm -hmm. That's all from us. Yes. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Turn that notification bell on so you don't miss any more videos from us. That's everything. So remember... See you next, next week. week. <laughs> Later. Coming back at you. Oh. Your boy Fountain back at it again. Oh my god. I drop some water on y'all.
<laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the next uh, video week of our, uh, I don't know, hang on, reset, reset, reset. What am I saying? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Okay, well, you just ruined me. Thanks, cool. What's up, everybody? Um. Welcome back to our... <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the next week of our awesome Syrup Project uh, video streams. Woo! Hi, my name is Shim, your favorite rapper, Shimmy G, and I've got my awesome co-host next to me. It's your boy, Fontaine, <laughs> coming at you. <laughs> it's good to see y'all again. Oh. It, it, what? Sorry, <laughs> just continue with what you're going with. Just go ahead, take it away. <laughs> So today, everybody, <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. All right, you guys just got to tone it down like 12 notches right now. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Just be normal. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is my normal. <laughs> Try to match to your energy. Let Shim go first, then. Oh, no. Uh, uh, so let's mix it up. Go for it, Shim. Okay. Hey, what's up, everybody? Oh, yeah, this isn't going to work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Shibby G. Shibby G. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Shibby <laughs> <laughs> G. Everybody, I'm alone now. All right, so I'm replacing Shimmy G, actually. Oh. <laughs> I'm a Big Al. That's a... Big let's Al. get into it. Uh... No, nah, JK. It's just you, Josh. Uh, they ask you how you are, you just have to say.